Hey everybody, welcome back to Beltman 95 Sports. So today's topic, we're going to talk a little about the Baltimore Orioles and the Baltimore Ravens on this episode of Beltman 95 Sports. <laughs> Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So we're going to talk about, we'll kick things off with the Orioles. Um, it was a, a disappointing loss, a 3-2 loss uh, versus the, uh, the Rangers yesterday. And, you know, I want to talk about the atmosphere yesterday. You know, we haven't seen that in years. Of course, you know, the 2014 campaign, um, that's when my son uh, gave Adam Jones the belt that, that night. Um, we went back to playoffs of 2016, but you know, it's it's been a long time coming and to see all the different events from yesterday from um, Jimmy Seafood that had Adam Jones uh, had I think he had like six people that it was like a hundred some dollar fee that he would smash pies in their face with them. Unfortunately, wasn't able to make it down there um, yesterday morning to see Adam. But it was, it was just a great seat at crowd. I've never seen that many people at Cameos before. I've never seen that. And I remember the 97 um, playoff run with Cal Ripken, and, and we ended up losing that losing um, losing that series, but I've never seen that many people at Cameos. It's just excitement. And you think about we're one year ahead of – of of schedule to be a competitive team but we get 101 wins and 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 win the east that's amazing for this team i think one year ahead of everything and i said i, I get back to the game you know it, it seemed like if you look at it the orioles had the number one seed so they had that that first that wild card layoff you had um let's see atlanta lost against philly Atlanta had the one number one buy in the, in the um in the um the national league and then you look at um i think the um uh, the diamondbacks end up beating the dodgers 11 and 2 only team that had the layoff was houston and they squeaked out a win against minnesota and does that that layoff throw the team out of sync i think it does i don't know if it, it's it's more of a a good thing or not to have the number one seed and have that that week off or that series off because it kind of throws the team off their their schedule we'll see today the game is scheduled to start at four um of course yesterday it was a rain delay and of course they had a concert going on at m&t bank stadium and the orioles and the ravens share that parking lot right there so by the time the the, the game ended up um, ending somewhere after five you know they had another crowd coming downtown to go to the concert then there was a festival in downtown so today should be a little bit better as far as traffic is concerned but you know i, I think that this is a must win situation for the orioles today uh, we have to win we can't go down to all with a short five game series you know three wins takes the series and then we go back to texas um so this is a must win i think you know we lost uh, the game yesterday i think it kind of gets the team back in into sync i think they'll perform a whole lot better in today's game and we'll we shall see you know i it's it's you know we want more than this we we think this team can go all the way and, and hopefully we do so we win the game tonight um, well this afternoon so moving on to the baltimore ravens um of course this is Steelers week um because of the excitement of the orioles being a playoffs it doesn't really feel that way anymore I don't think the rivalry is as, as strong as it used to be since, you know, uh, Big Ben retired. Um, but it's still some type of rivalry there. I really haven't heard any real talk or excitement about the about the Ravens-Steelers game this week, to be honest with you. Um, but the Ravens coming off of a win against Cleveland. Of course, um, Deshaun Watson didn't play uh, last week and the letdown with the um, uh, Colts um, the previous week against the, um, the Ravens in overtime. But... You know that that was a get right game in my my opinion against cleveland um pickett uh and steelers this week um i think the um, ravens should win that game i know steelers have struggled in the last two games i think they lost um uh by a total of what one was 30 to six if i believe none was 31 to eight or whatever it was um so they've been struggling for a while um, I think this should be an easy win for the Orioles. I mean, sorry, for the um, Ravens. But then again, the Steelers and Ravens are never an easy win. They always play each other close no matter who the starting quarterback is, no matter who's out, who's injured. Um, so I, I think it'll be probably another three, maybe a six-point win for the Ravens. 
um, but the defense has held up as um, far as the Ravens concerned for the past games, and that's probably our strongest side of the ball. Um, but I, I believe that this will be a, a, a good game for the Ravens um, to propel us, propel us one more um, divisional win and lead over um, the North. Um, we all know the Bengals are struggling right now. There's a lot of things that we, internal things with the Bengals that we don't know about. Um, Cleveland is Cleveland. Um, and Deshaun Watson, I don't know if that's the right situation for Cleveland, but who cares? We're only concerned about the, the Ravens right now. But I, I think that this will be a good game for the Ravens to um, to get another divisional win and take a, a commanding lead in the North and prepare ourselves for the playoffs. Like right that. So this is our channel, Beltway Knife, our sports. Um, I support children with special needs like autism. So if you like what I'm doing, consider like and subscribe to the channel. I almost forgot. Um, this is the... Uh, um, the Oreo belt. Uh, we didn't get a chance to take a step back, uh, give it to Adam Jones yesterday. Um, my son was a little bit under the weather, um, but um, we'll get it to them. Hopefully, the Orioles will pull off a win this afternoon. And of course, the Ravens have got a one o'clock start against the Steelers. So, go, guys, be safe out there. Take care of yourself. Catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.